were going on a girl trip to Catalina Island with my friends. So I decided to get ready with you. It's gonna be fun, hopefully. I haven't done anything fun in a while, so I'm really excited. I know it sounds silly because I just came back from Miami, but what happened is, and what I didn't mention in my Miami vlog, is that I got sun damage or heat damage, I don't know, but I just ended up laying in my bed for half of the vacation. I think I only had two days when I was able to go out, but I guess my body couldn't take all that heat, so I was feeling extremely sick, and yeah, it wasn't a successful vacation. Hopefully today's trip is gonna be much more fun. Anyways, let's start getting ready. I'm gonna start by prepping my skin for makeup, and I'm using this Dalba for spray serum. I'd also like to thank them for sponsoring this video. The serum is actually multifunctional. You can use it as a makeup base or as a skincare. I'll show you. As you can see, it has a double layer, so we're gonna shake it really well before using it. The oil layer has avocado, chia seed, and sunflower seed for skin elasticity and hydration. And the serum layer has vitamin E and their signature ingredient, white truffle. White truffle is very rich in antioxidant, but it requires a special way of extraction, which Dalva guarantees safety of. And as you probably know by now, antioxidants help to reduce wrinkles, pigmentation, help to soften the skin, just all the good stuff. So I'm just gonna spray it on my skin before I use any makeup as a base. You can also apply it to your body, so I will be applying to my collarbone area so it's nice and shiny. Wow. Just gives me an instant glow, which I love. I really like the feeling of it on my skin. It's like a cloud-like mist that leaves your skin feeling hydrated and radiant. And this glow actually lasts very long. You can actually use it also as a setting spray, which I'll be doing in the end. And it's suitable for all skin types. It's 100% vegan. And you can find it on Amazon. I'll make sure to leave the link down below. And let's get the makeup going. So the look that I'm going for today is strawberry makeup. It's very popular on TikTok and I've been seeing it a lot so I really wanted to try it. I think it's pretty summery and cute. Let's go. First things first, we're gonna apply some concealer and while I do my makeup, I just wanna share some things that I've been thinking about lately. I think this is probably the first time in my life when I came to this feeling of total Mm, how do you call it? Desperation. <laughs> I'm desperate because I really feel like I'm stuck in the same place. In my same emotions. I'm not really progressing anywhere. Like I had some things that I've been worried about, anxious about, that I wanted to change. But I haven't really changed them at all. And I don't know why. I definitely think the problem is me. I feel like if I wanted it bad enough, I would probably do something. But I have been very passive, as if like changing something would make it even worse, you know? I actually really relate to that new Billie Eilish song from the Barbie movie where she goes like When did it end all the enjoyment? I'm sad again. And I'm not like particularly sad. I'm not. I'm more so numb. I do actually wonder when did it end? This feeling that life is exciting. I don't think I'm necessarily depressed because I'm not like sad or anything. I definitely felt way sadder in the past in my life but it's more so i'm starting to get used to this feeling and it's scary and this trip is one of the things that i did out of my comfort zone because i usually don't like reaching out first to my friends because i always feel like i'm bothering them but this time i really wanted to have some fun with them and see if you know i've been missing out on something i really feel like people don't want to hang out with me and i'm forcing them but obviously it's not the case it's just in my head so maybe it's a good thing that I'm trying to go against it, but it does feel very uncomfortable to reach out to people, especially when you get rejected. And this happens a lot, like in LA, people can just like ghost you and they don't care. But then again, you shouldn't always take things personally. It might be their own situation. They might be depressed. They might be going through some stuff, you know, and they don't want to talk to anyone. I totally understand because I feel like I've been acting like this too. I've been trying to connect, but then also isolating myself from everyone. Okay, I have the most perfect blush for this look. This one is so pretty. It's from NARS in color Insatiable. Look at it, wow. I'm gonna apply a lot, because once I blend it, it's not gonna be that visible. Or maybe it won't. Another thing that I've been doing to get out of my comfort zone is filming more TikToks. And not the usual stuff that I do on my main page, but more so like a spam account stuff where I just like lip sync, which I 
honestly i feel so bad doing it i feel like a little cringe but i feel like if i will continue doing it i'll get more confident with myself i just think i need to overcome this fear of being perceived as silly or cringe you know it's been standing in my way of achieving some things that i want next i'll be adding some highlighter in my outer corners for the summery shiny look for my eye makeup i'll be using this palette it's called it's called urban decay honey i'll be taking this hive color and applying this on my lid and yeah, I feel like I just never been more desperate to have a friend group than I am right now. I just never thought this would be my life because I was always a pretty more or less social person. And when I was young, I just always found fun in life. Like there was not even one day. I mean, no, obviously there were days when I wasn't having fun, but I just mean generally I had a good time in my life. Like I always knew how to find experiences, adventures. It was like a good run, but this is probably the first time in my life that I feel lost, that I actually feel like people around me don't care about connecting. And I get it, everyone has their own life, we're all adults, we don't have time to have fun like when we were teenagers. But it's kind of sad to me, because I do want to have fun like when I used to be a teenager, to go on trips, adventures with my friends. Why does it always have to be about love interest? Like I'm tired of this. I want friend group <laughs> girlfriend group to be specific so yeah i never thought i'll find myself in this situation but it's good as i said before i did struggle to make friends in a way at least this makes me to learn to be friends with myself yay <laughs> um just kidding i do love spending time with myself i think i'm learning so much about myself it's crazy like when I was younger, I definitely didn't know anything about myself because I was so distracted by other people. I didn't really have time to think about who is Ruslana or what does she want. And now I have all this time and let me tell you, sometimes, sometimes I wish I could stop thinking, but it is for a reason. I need to get to that point where, you know, Ruslana and me are besties. We're just, I'd say we're like on good terms right now. Applied some freckles and now I'm gonna apply some highlighter. This one is from the brand Hourglass Cosmetics. I wonder if I could use this as a lipstick. Let's try. Because that would be like a perfect color. When did I do this? <laughs> I don't remember when I turned this light on. Anyways. Oh, this is actually a different lipstick. It's called... I don't know what it's called. I got it from a little cute Japanese store in Koreatown. And this one smells so good. And when I apply it on my lips, it just gives it the little minty feeling and it just feels great too. Okay. Time to set the makeup. And the makeup is done. Very cute and summery. And now let's pick the outfit. It's giving European summer. The skirt is so cute. It's vintage Betsy Johnson. The top is a pretty little thing. And we're right here. for right now? I feel like we should get food. Yeah. I'm so hungry. This place is so cute. I love coming here. It literally looks like it's straight out of some Disney movie. What did you get, Lisa? So look, this is what I get. It's beignets. I'm pretty sure this is how you call them. It's from uh, Princess the Frog. Have you ever tried it before? No, I, I'm pretty sure like I tried it in like Disneyland or something. I just don't remember. Like this is, is it good? And this is where we're gonna eat. I stole Ruslana's camera. Here's the view. 
We're currently at the restaurant. Such a nice view. What are you gonna get, Carol? I'm gonna get oysters and lobster roll and some bread and Coca Cola. Wasn't this free? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> The bread is so good and the butter is really delicious too. Love it. Love my free food today. <laughs> oh, so they love oysters. Burr. To me they just taste like sea. Like but I'm that's drinking the point. sea water. That's the point. Or ocean. I don't know. It just doesn't taste right. <laughs> oh, this what happened. Super this is what happens when you pick your shoes. I can't even properly walk like this, so we're gonna try to find super glue and see if we can glue that back. Oh. I found it! I found it! No. We found, yeah, Ruslana currently is in the store. She's paying for this okay, glue. Hair, hair. And Lisa is. Okay, perfect. Just fixing it. her shoe with a, this gorilla glue. We got some ice cream. Successfully rescued my shoes. So big. Did not expect that. It's too much. She said. Too much. Yeah, today the beach is very crowded. Usually it's not as crowded. Oh. 